Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another another Enter Dimensions reality update video, episode 34, and I've made quite a lot of progress. And this is just from attorney point multipliers, this attorney upgrade, which is actually really good, and time dimension upgrades. That's it. I haven't done anything else yet. I'm all the way up to E62 eternity points ready to be collected. I can also collect well, once I get on look at galaxies, a whopping what I, I don't even I don't even know what that is. Like 178? Yeah, I think it's 178 time theorems. Which is basically enough to get Eternity Challenge 9 at this point. Which is kind of crazy. But what I can do instead is I can do I'm just gonna breeze through the last completion of Eternity Challenge 6. It's it, it should be just super easy at this point. I have so many time dimension upgrades that I'd be very surprised if I can't beat it. Even though I might actually not be able to beat it. Which is... Okay, no. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, 1723. Okay, it's going to be a lot closer than I thought. I thought it was going to be easy. Actually, it still is pretty easy. Never mind. So, there's that. Then I have just so much stuff here that Eternity Challenge 7 shouldn't be a problem, especially with the reward from Eternity Challenge 6. At least that's what I hope. I need E7 or 1.7 million ants matter. That's not a problem anymore, which is good. But the challenge itself might be a problem, except that this reward reduces the ants matter dimension cost multiplier growth, which really helps in a challenge of like Eternity Challenge 7. We'll see how possible this is. This is actually, despite having everything here, this is actually not possible. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought all of my time dimension upgrades were gonna make this just a joke, just like every other challenge. But no, it's, it is not like that. So I think what I can do instead is, I can do Attorney Challenge Eight, which hopefully is gonna be way easier with all my time dimension upgrades. And what do I need? E3100. Okay, that's way easier. I'm not sure if I can do another completion of that, but at least that's something. Maybe I can even do another completion of Eternity Challenge 7 with that, because that is a good reward. I mean, I kind of want to try, even though that might be stupid. Or I could just do Eternity Challenge 9, because I, I have just enough time theorems to get... If I skip 21 through 41... 33 and 62, I can do Attorney Challenge 9, which if I fail this, I will definitely try it again. Or I'll or not try it again, because that's kind of the point. Attorney Challenge 9, I haven't done any completions of. I mean, here I can just spend all of these time studies that I want. So, I wonder how much this Attorney Challenge 8 reward is going to matter. And it seems to be doing a little bit, but it's still not enough. So, there we go. First double fail. But, that's fine. I can just... I'm just gonna do... Go through this manually. I kind of forgot what Eternity Challenge 9 did, so I'm just gonna do Time Dimensions and Active. And I'll have just enough to get... Okay, not 171. I should have gotten 171. Why did I not get 171? I'm just gonna... I'm literally just gonna redo this and... I'll get I'll get 171. I have exactly enough for that. So there we go. I can get a few more time studies with this. It's five, which is enough for both the Replicanti ones. So I'll just, I guess I'll just do that because I'm sick of waiting for this to go up. Maybe I should do Infinity Dimension Path for this challenge. Actually, oh, this we we could kind of lock it. Oh, it's the oh, it's the you cannot buy tick speed upgrades thing, which is E1750, which Okay, I think I might have made the wrong choice with this, but I can still just complete the challenge anyway. And this gives me an infinity dimension multiplier. So now what do I do? Maybe I maybe this is where I just go for the final push. Or at least get some more time theorem so I can get a full study tree with Eternity Challenge 9. So that's what I'm going to do right now. See in a bit. Well, it looks like my challenge completions are having a big effect, but I'm still getting... E or 280 orders of magnitude every infinity automatically and I'm able to shoot way past 
where I was going before. I mean, I it look, it's almost look it almost was looking like I could just get e70 right here, which is crazy. It's definitely possible. I also have enough time theorems to get 30 channels nine done, but I don't I don't even think that's really the point here. I can get all the way up to e67 attorney points, which is probably good for as many as like three attorney point multipliers. It's what is it like 1250 times this? That's probably about one e67. Except I'm going all the way to e68. Because who who needs e67 when you got e68? And who needs e68 when you got e69? I'm not quite there yet though. I it's probably better to actually just go for e68. Get my three multipliers. I'm actually close to a fourth, but this means that I will be able to unlock the E70 Eternity points without Eternity Challenge 1. Also, I didn't really notice how it is worded. It says Eternity 4 E70 Eternity points, which means I can't just... If I was struggling to get there, which luckily I am not, I couldn't have just, like, did some kind of, like, auto Eternity point run. Like, I, had, I need to do, like, longer runs to get there. So, that's pretty amazing. The, the other two upgrades that are still possible, this reality, is the telemechanical process, which is, it'll have an effect in the time dilation part of the game, which is E4000 attorney points without time dimension, 5 to 8. And then there's also a banks and fending grinding one I can, I can do in the dilation phase. So, there's that. Other than that, I guess it's just, well, I still need to get my E70 attorney points first. And then I'm going to immediately do all my completion of attorney challenge one. Not worth even putting that in the video because it is going to be a complete joke. But the main thing about this is that I can get time study 181 after one completion, which is going to help with this crap here. So here we go. Unlocking the reality upgrade. I... I'm not even trying to go for optimal attorney point gain here because now I can just do all my completions of attorney challenge one. And yes, I'm literally using time dimension path in the attorney challenge one, which is totally not how you're supposed to do it. But I am just so overpowered that I don't need anything like that. Also, I should probably get time study 181, turn off my infinity dimension or infinity or big crunch auto buyer and put that into the build so now it's yeah you're just seeing it's now so much better to just gain the attorney points that was like kind of a struggle it was just taking just a, such a long time to get to get stuff with it because i just needed to wait for all my attorney points and everything to go up and i need to like do so many big crunches but and now i don't have to deal with that like ever again or not until next reality, but I'm not going to be going all the way to E70 eternity points before getting time study 181. I, I can just do it at E40 eternity points, which are, where it's less painful. Because it was it was taking like 30, 40, 50, 60 big crunches to get to a good eternity point gain. So yeah, that was, that was kind of rough. This also means I can do eternity challenge four if, um the last completion which i think will help so i guess after this eternity i'll i'll respec and then i'll get get my uh, upgrades first because that's kind of important and then going to idle i can probably at the same time not only do eternity challenge four but also do eternity challenge how do i not oh i don't have 181 I not only can do Attorney Challenge 4, but I can also maybe do another completion of Attorney Challenge 8. So, here we go. Now I should be able to beat the challenge. And, uh, I yeah, just literally the same build. Including 181 this time, because it is just so... Oh my god, it just feels so much, so nice to have 181. Especially for a challenge like this one. Like, look how easy this is. That didn't require anything to, to do that. And maybe turn channel seven, maybe maybe this is not the best time to do it. But whatever we can we can do it with one eighty one. I mean that's something. And e forty one twenty is that possible? It 
it is still impossible. This is ridiculous. This this challenge is way harder than I think it is. Whatever. I can just do... I'll, I'll literally just do this build for Eternity Challenge 9. Actually, I don't have enough time games. Why did I do that? Whatever. I can still... I can literally still gain Eternity points. And I'm not even getting, like, the 50 times from Time Study 181. I think this is what I want to do for Eternity Challenge 9, I think. I still need to crunch, though. Unfortunately. So goal is E2000. It, yeah, this is a joke of a challenge. Even, like, the next completion is probably a joke. It's going to be, like, E2250, and you can see 2250 is obviously possible. And this is without even these three time studies. Okay, boom. Third completion done. Now, what, what do challenges do I have left? I just have seven... Eight and nine. I guess I can do eight, maybe. Or just do the usual eternity points because it's it's gonna be pretty easy to get get them. Yeah, just look at this. I can go from 320 to 480 time theorems, which allows me to literally use time study 181 in eternity challenge nine. And I've also almost reached the cost scalings. And that that's where things get a little bit rougher, but I don't think it's going to be rough. Like, E100 turning points, it's also enough to... Actually, I don't even need to do other things because I have just unlocked a turning challenge 10, which is going to be super easy because I have so many banked infinities that I will unlock the rest of the tree. Now, the thing is, I could grind eternities for 193, but I'm so overpowered at this point. I don't need 193. Like, it's, it's just insane how much faster... Is. I can get all the way to E122 Eternity Points, which kind of gets me through all the scaling, or at least the Eternity Point multiplier scaling, which is crazy. It's Also, I can start, I mean, okay, I still need some more time theorems. I probably still need to get some more, like, time studies. Like, there's still, yeah, the Eternity Challenges I still probably should try, I should try to complete at this point. But you can see... I'm just gonna, I guess, do some more runs until I can afford the Dirty Challenge 9 with all of these time studies. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This, if, yeah, I, I am gonna have no trouble whatsoever with this challenge ever again, or at least in this reality. Same with all the other challenges, because these studies are just overpowered, and I can probably even do a Dirty Challenge 11, especially with something like Time Study 193. Um, at least I hope. Okay, yeah, boom. There we go. Time study 193 is all I need. Also, uh, why am I using this? I should use idle just to get that last attorney challenge out of the way. And I also need to crunch. Well, I don't need to crunch. I can do 181 in it. And I can do, like, 212 and get this. And it is a complete joke. And then I probably want to get the rest of the attorney challenge 10 completion out of the way. Because they're still... A complete, it's probably going to be a complete joke with some of those time studies, I think. Maybe. Or not. Huh? Maybe it's not a complete joke. What the heck? Okay, I underestimated turning challenge step 10. It's actually way harder than I thought it was. But that is okay. There's, I mean, it's this section of the game. There's, It's just super fast, especially with all the reality stuff. I'm just getting these studies just so I can speed up speed up a little bit before trying to get 232, because 232 is like the really good one. I'm not quite there yet, but that is okay considering especially I can even get 214. This is everything except 192 and 201 before the light and dark studies. And I think, yeah, look at this. I don't I don't I'm forgetting the time dimensions. And I'm still going way up. Which is just a testament to how overpowered. I also I missed the eternity point multipliers. Yeah, true testament to just how overpowered I am in this part of the game. I probably am just gonna push to 550 time theorems and completely demolish the rest of these eternity challenge 10 completions. So here we go, eternity challenge 10. I'm be shocked if I'm not gonna. Well, maybe I can't demolish all of them, but I can demolish most of them. So. I can at least get completion three and four. Maybe not five yet, but that's okay. 
So completion four. I barely even checking this reward. It's it's just a time dimension multiplier. Just you know your average time dimension multiplier. Maybe I can get something like time study two thirty two at this point because that's the really overpowered one. Let's let's see if I can. Um, we're not quite. Nope, I am there, and I'll just be able to get literally everything at this point. Especially with stuff like 193, 214, I can instantly get all the way back here. And E360 Eternity Points. This is where I guess I'll just do more Eternity Point runs. So now I can just go into stuff like 228, which is really powerful. 234 is also pretty good. And then I guess I can get like 226 and 222 eventually, but I'm not quite there yet. But E483 at 30 points, no problem. I can just get stuff like the rest of this done. So I think at this point, I just want to get that last completion of Eternity Challenge 10. Is Eternity Challenge 10 really like this? Okay, then. I thought this is going to be a complete joke, considering how many time studies I had. Nope, nope, nope. This challenge always makes... Always is harder than I think it is. I don't know... Because I... Uh, I think it's because I rely on time dimensions so much, especially with the glyph. And now I don't really have that. Whatever, I'm just going to do a slightly different build that involves 201 instead of, like, 220, 234. And I can still I can still get 232. I can still get all of these. And this is yeah, it's as usual, it's just gonna be really powerful. And it's it's gonna allow me to get those OP time studies anyway. So here we go. 228. 228 actually isn't that good, but 234 is really good. So that's what I'll be going for. Yep, 234 is really good. I started at like 290, now I'm all the way up to 530 time theorems. It's enough to get good ways to E700 eternity points. And this, maybe this is where I have to suffer through Eternity Challenge 11. I'm not quite there yet, and I'm very close to a time study. So well, let's do that part first, because that's, that's the bright part. So with exactly a thousand time theorems, I can pick something like... I'm just not sure if I want 225 or 226. I think 225 is actually a little bit better, which is kind of weird. But that's I don't I don't know. It's very rough. I do have three times faster Replicanti gain, but 226 is still better for short runs. So I think I think I am gonna go 226, and I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna just call it Active like this. I can only do four characters, and this is a good time study. Allowed, allowed me to get pretty far. E765 eternity points. I be, think thing is, I feel like I I wish I just had one more slot here, because then I'd make like one for the like kind of earlier game, um, one like this, and then this would be my eternity challenge eleven one, and this would be my dilation one. But unfortunately, we don't have that. So I just have to make do with what I got. And I can get... I'm going to be able to get Time Study 222, which is the last one to get at this point. So this means I kind of want to save this as this. And it's actually... 222 is way better than I thought it was. So don't discount 222. So as we cross E1000 eternity points, I think the strategy, unfortunately, well, it's, it's, it's an unfortunate part of every reality. It is Eternity Challenge 11. Um, so let's just go here, go here. I, I want idle here, so like this. This, get everything here. And then, well, except pick another path of second split, except I don't really need that. I, I, I already know what I'm doing here. I need 233, 228. I I think still 222. Some people were suggesting like 231 for this challenge. I don't really remember, honestly. But I'm just going to do it like this. And oh, why, why did it buy a second thing? Come on, game. Are you serious? 
Sometimes shift, that's why I wasn't shift clicking, I guess. Because I do stupid crap like that. Okay, whatever. I'll just do, I'll just do all this. Do the same as before. 220, 220, 224, 225, 233, and 228. And get this. So, yeah, this challenge is always rough. It will be a little bit easier because of three times faster replicanti. But that's not going to make it, like, really... I don't know. I could even get... I'm not even sure if time dimensions are doing anything here. I mean, we, we can look at our statistics. It's the great thing to look at. And it looks like tick speeds really is doing a lot of stuff. I'm getting about 15% from tick speed upgrades, but barely any of that is from time dimensions. Because... It's based on dimension multipliers. So I keep I keep forgetting like how this challenge really works. But the thing is that the faster replicanti is huge here. I can gain well the thing is it's not just the better replicated galaxies, but I think it's mostly time steady 233 here. Because it's based on current replicanti that the max replicated galaxy upgrade is cheaper. Also, I should save this as um, EC11 for the other four times I need to do this. So unfortunately, although this part of the game is sped up, it's probably going to take, like the fifth completion, it used to take somewhere around six hours. Now it's probably going to take more like two hours, but that's still a lot of time. Like, especially as everything else is getting faster, like, for example, like the, the infinity grinding is fully cut out. And yeah, it it sucks, but that's Eternity Challenge 11 for you. And this is where I'm going to end the episode. I know it's it kind of a long one, but I really wanted, wanted to get all the way to Dilation, but I don't think that was possible. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.